Hello! Welcome back to Lucy, the eternity she wished for. Let's continue where we left off. Oh, arriving? I peeked through the windows. This is not too busy, but no sign of the repairman. I'm wasting no more time, I head in. Antique shop, where are you from? Do you have anything to find? As soon as I set my foot inside, I was immediately greeted by a female staff. The voice had a sweet, vibrant texture. It really caught me off guard. I never expected a girl to be manning the store. I guess she's a part-timer. I turned around to face the person calling out to me, and my jaw dropped to the floor. You. Her face lights up when she finally recognises me. Oh, 드디어 와주셨군요, 주인님. 애타게 기다리고 있었답니다. It was the android named Lucy Valentine who had greeted me at the door. My eyes playing tricks on me. There's no way that useless thing could be standing here talking to me. And what's with that smile? I double check. You're Lucy, right? 네 맞아요. Lucy는 다른 누구도 아닌 Lucy랍니다. Well, guess that settles it. How'd you end up like this? 네 주인님. 어떻게 된 거냐고 하시면. That voice and your face, and you're standing on your own, right? 네, 물론이에요, 주인님. 루시는 지금 두 발로 서 있답니다. 에헴. Lucy puffs out her chest, looking proud. I mean, that's not really something to be proud of, but thinking back to how she was before, it was damn well impressive. You do look better now, so there's nothing wrong with you anymore. 네, 주인님. 지금 루시는 몸이 가벼워서 날아갈 것만 같답니다. Parenthesis, she spins in place like an excited ballerina. She had the appearance of a mature, well-pampered maiden, yet at the same time looked silly like a child. But her spin abruptly ends as she crashes onto the floor. And there goes my peace of mind. <laughs> Lucy smiles sheepishly. Why am I at a loss for words? The deceptively human voice? A vibrant personality full of such emotion? A face displaying all manner of expressions? Each movement bursts with spirited passion. To say that I'm amazed would be a gross understatement. My brains turn to mush. I can't utter a single word. I won't show it on the outside. It's weakness to lose control of your emotion. Well that, plus, I don't want to admit to her that I'm surprised. That's one heck of a change in just a few hours. <laughs> I'm complimenting the guy who fixed you up, of course. The look of disappointment on her face was quite surreal. How can I possibly explain this? Magic? Had she been enchanted by a witch? Old childhood stories spring to mind. The nine-tailed fox who desired to become human. Little mermaid who asked also a wish to be human. What happened to them? Let's just say they didn't get a happy ending. This robot makes me think. If that little mermaid's wish ever came true, wouldn't she be celebrating just like this? Enough of this cut clap trap. Back to the matter of hand, which is, where's the repairman? Say, so, what happened to the guy who put you in charge? They. 주인 아저씨께서는 필요한 물품을 조달하러 잠깐 외출하셨답니다. He's not here. What about his store? Ahem. 
가게는 지금 훌륭한 점원이 대신 보고 있답니다. An assistant? Where? Ahem, ahem. So where is this assistant? Ahem, ahem. I don't see anyone. Ahem, ahem. Well, that sure took the wind out of her sails. She's having more highs and lows than a bipolar patient. Feeling bad for her, I decide to drop the act. Okay, I get it. You're the one in charge for the time being. 네, 맞아요, 주인님. 지금은 루시가 가게를 보고 있답니다. She sure bounced back fast. Moreover, what's the deal with the repairman? Even Lucy to take care of the store on the first day he's met her? To such a ditzy robot? It had to be a few cards short of a full deck to think this was a smart idea. 저, 주인님. 무얼 그렇게 생각하시나요? I'm not thinking about anything. You can stop calling me master all the time. 하지만 주인님은 주인님인걸요. Use my name instead. 하지만 루시는 주인님의 이름을 모르는걸요. 이 기회에 가르쳐주세요. True, I brought that up last time. Let's run through the choices. Let's call him Jim. Jim. I have an even better name. The name's Mr. Handsome. 주인님, 그런 거짓말은 하면 안 된답니다. 남을 속이는 건 나쁜 짓이에요. 거짓말은 죄랍니다. So you're telling me I'm ugly? She curls up instinctively, thinking she might be scolded for messing up. Really? Why do you think I'm pulling your leg? 조금 전에 이름을 입력하는 걸 봤답니다. Oh, come on, even the game's working against me. Forget it. Just call me master. 네, 주인님. What? 주인님. What do you want? 그냥 불러봤답니다. Are you messing with me? 아니요, 아니요. 당치도 않은 말씀을. 주인님이라고 부를 수 있는 분이 있다는 게 너무 기뻐서요. 그래서 그냥 불러봤답니다. She cracks a smile wide. She were human. I'd, have, I'd think she was on drugs. But for a robot? Maybe she's still got a screw loose. Or her programming still corrupted. Whatever the case, I just can't get a bead on her. And what's that where's that stupid repairman? Ten minutes later. The man in question finally shows up. As soon as we lock eyes, the guy makes me line towards me and nearly bowls me over as he pleads, Please let me have Lucy. What kind of screwed up situation is this? It's like he's asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. I shoot back, No, I will not let you marry her. Uh, what are you on about? You hire something? That's my line. What do you think you're doing? The owner takes some time to collect himself. Maybe I got a bit carried away. Kid, 
how about I point point that android off you? Now, why am I not surprised? You want me to sell her? Yeah, I can give you this much. Takes out his calculator and shows me the figures. My mind goes numb for five seconds. Are you serious? Of course. What do you think? Not bad deal for a student, right? That's a, this is a ton of dough, even for an adult. With the state this place is in, I don't think she has this that has that kind of capital. He's obviously desperate. I stare at Lucy in silence. Then droids frozen like a statue. The face of hers looks almost sad, like a slave about to be sold off at auction. Well, maybe that's a bit extreme. He's not about to eat you alive or anything. Turn back to face the repairman. You'd pay this much? Do you really think Lucy's worth that kind of money? Of course! He yells in excitement. Def Deafened much? Listen carefully. Any decently priced robot model comes with an AI or a model that allows them to mimic human emotion. You know this much, right? Sure. Well, creating such a module is an incredibly complex process. Even then, do you know how well they perform? Hmm. Compared to a real person, that's a long ways off. Right. Even cutting an edge, they're mimicking motion is rudimentary at best. We're still not at the stage where it's considered genuine. I think I'm beginning to see the picture here. Looking back at Lucy, I start to put together what he's trying to tell me. Yeah, a sharp one. Teaching kids pretty well these days. So, you savvy with what I'm saying? So you're telling me Lucy is an exceptionally intelligent robot capable of processing natural human emotions? Honestly, I was quite surprised about that as well. I've never seen such a robot that could emulate a real person so well. Even the new models nowadays reveal their flaws after a minute long conversation. I couldn't sense anything particular out of place while chatting with Lucy. It felt just like talking to a real person. Yep. To put it simply, this is a person made out of metal. A human robot. An Iron Maiden. A revolution in the robotics industry. The guy who created Lucy must be a true genius. Uh-huh. That aside, good thing he caught himself before calling Lucy a certain power armor wearing superhero. No one likes patent infringement lawsuits. Anyway, if she was such a spectacular robot, would she really be thrown away like that? I did run into something weird. There's some sort of built-in protection feature that was stopping the robot from working properly. A protection feature? Rings a bell, something the junk version of Lucy might have mentioned yesterday. Whatever it was, she seemed to be doing fine now. And y you removed it? Yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Since it was just one of those you put on display models. I'm just curious as to why they would bother doing such a thing before throwing it away. He appears to be lost in thought. Hmm. Might mean that the inventor wanted to keep this new technology sealed away from humanity. If not, then maybe. What if there was a serious bug? That's what I thought too, so I ran some tests but found nothing. It's safe to say that she won't be harming anyone. Why would she ever want to harm people? I'm just saying that she properly obeys the three laws of robotics. At least she won't be a threat. 
Ah. A three laws of robotics. One, a robot may not injure a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must be obey the orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. These laws enable humans to keep control of robots. They make sure that humans will always have authority over robots. That's how we can av can avert any catastrophe. I heard that if a robot ever disobeys one of the laws, it would immediately shut itself down under any circumstances. That's why there aren't any glowing flaws to this system. I shift my focus back to the numbers displayed on the calculator. Glancing at Lucy, I'm reminded of a forlorn poppy, and it's really bothering me. With sudden determination, she approaches me. What's wrong? Yes, and? 그러니까, 저... So what? 저... 그러니까, 저... Never get tired of seeing Lucy look so depressed. Seems to satisfy the hidden sadist within me. She's really trying to put on a show for me. Essentially, she's a self-advertising product don't see that every day. But willing to go this far for me, it'd be cool to let her go at this point. I'm not going to make the deal, so don't worry. As I finished my sentence, looks on their faces were different as night and day. The repairman sucks while Lucy breathes a sigh of relief. Anyway, she's good to go now, right? Here you go. I resigned Nedly fork over the money and my hard earned cash. Bitterly, the repairman accepts payment after a moment's hesitation. She's better. But be careful not to put any strain on her legs for a while. Keep it light and cut down on the excursions. Sure. So we gotta play piggyback again. Wonderful. It's not too heavy, so I can manage. Thanks for all your help. The rock guy really got it bad. Practically bleeding out over the android. Maybe I'll throw him a bone. Look, we'll do regular checkups. Sound good? Okay, but make sure to treat her well. And don't overwork her too much, alright? See you later too, Lucy. You can visit any time. The look on his face while waving goodbye to Lucy was truly a spectacle. This time he seemed to be the father seeing his daughter leave with another man. The guy is completely out of it. Definitely made the right choice. Excited we head out to the sidewalk. I stop in my tracks. In silence, I kneel down facing away from Lucy. Hop on! I add an explanation to make sure she understands. That means you lightly put your arms around my neck and climb onto my back. What is it? Hmm. I guess I no longer have to worry about being choked to death.
Feel her weight gradually sh shift onto my back. For a robot, she's very light. She probably, she was probably measured away as a normal girl. Huh? No, it's nothing. As soon as she climbs onto my back, I can't help but notice a fragrant aroma rising from her body. It's neither too intense nor fleeting. It gently spreads evenly along my nose. It starts with a sweet fruity scent reminiscent of a youthful girl. There is hin a hint of spice akin to a mature woman. It doesn't fail to stimulate the mind of a teenage boy going through puberty. This is bad. I've never experienced something like this. It didn't happen this morning, but why now? It's probably because of the smell. It wasn't there earlier. Feeling a little faint, I desperately tried to grasp, get a grasp of the situation. She's measuring my heart rate? That's not fair. I feel a little embarrassed for revealing that I'm a nervous wreck right now. Unable to hold back, I decide to be honest to myself. This smell, what is it? Aha, this smell is it? Aha, this smell is it? She takes out a bottle of perfume amongst many other makeup accessories. That guy's really scary. Really scary. It's the type of person who spends the whole day forcing his pet dog into different clothing. If you consider that as animal abuse, wouldn't this be some sort of kind of robot harassment? Hmm, well I don't know. All this stuff just for a robot? What a silly guy. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Had I just been seduced by robots? Well, there goes all of my dignity as a human being. What are you going on about now? Purposely s tried to, s to sound irritated. It doesn't affect her in any way, however. Be truthful. Well, you're lighter than I expected. ちょうまりんかよ。いや。ピンマラニンコ、あにちよ。切符に故障된瞬間で、ちょうまげ丸こんねそ、ルシルだらけくるとろてる側面、あにけちよ。さあ、スペースビーファニー、ハブユビンディ
Nor are we near any beautiful landscapes. We're just walking down a plain old street that you can find anywhere. What part of this place do you find marvellous? Everything? Tambuta,金沢だ。みだ。예전에는、なでるるなかいって、항상、허가が必要했으니까요。밖에なかそ、いろんしくる、길을、こにる、きゅうえが、みょっぱん、おっさっこでんよ。くれよ、くじならじ
I blurt out the question. Then why were you abandoned? Lucy goes silent. Nothing is said for a while. The quietness stretches into an awkward silence. I start to regret asking the question. With those words, Lucy finally breaks the silence. Lucy Lucy goes silent once more. Then one day she found herself left in the dust is probably what she wanted to say. Maybe they didn't like something about her or they found a significant flaw within her design. But I don't like the fact that they had just tossed her aside after giving her so much love and attention. Aren't they being too inconsiderate? Small rage boils up inside of me, directed at those cruel researchers with no sense of responsibility. When I regain my senses after a few seconds, I become surprised at how angry I was. What was I thinking? They were just throwing away a failed experiment. The object on my back is nothing more than an impressive fake. She's not real. She's not a living creature. It's only natural that useless machinery is thrown away. There's no need for me to be so angry. Jui님. 다시 맥박이 올라가고 있습니다. 무슨 일이신가요? It's nothing. I stop measuring that all the time. 하지만 자동적으로 체온을 재도록 프로그램되어 있는데요. Then it's an order. I order you to not measure anything from now on. 명령이신가요? 그렇다면 어쩔 수 없네요. There's another silence, but this time not an unpleasant one. 그래서 주인님에게는 너무나도 감사해 하고 있답니다. Just can't seem to figure out this robot's train of thought. What? 버려지고 얼마나 오랜 시간이 지났는지는 알수 없어요. 하지만 루시의 체감상으로는 정말 오랜 시간 동안 버려져 있는 것 같았어요. 주변은 어두컴컴하고 사람의 인기척이라고는 없었어요. 아주 어두웠어요. 아주 고요했어요. 아주 외로웠어요. 그러던 도중 주인님의 목소리가 들려오기 시작했어요. I don't remember talking to you like that. 그래도 루시에게는 정말 천사의 속삭임 같았어요. 아무것도 없는 어둠 속에 처음으로 빛이 떠올랐어요. 루시에게 여러 차례 말을 걸어 주셨죠? You're overreacting. She's definitely going overboard with this. I just happened to notice her while casually passing by. 주인님의 눈에 띄기 위해 필사적이었어요. 있는 힘을 다해 몸을 움직였어요. 그랬더니 글쎄 움직이지 않던 손이 움직이는 거예요. <웃음> There were only a few words which didn't contain any significant meaning. And it was only on a moment's whim that I had taken her home. But I was surprised those simple actions were such a big help to the robot. Being able to say the most embarrassing things without hesitation. I guess that's one of the advantages of being a robot. I can feel my face beginning to flush. Quickly, I duck in order to hide my embarrassment. Shut up. I'm going to make you pay for what you're worth, so you better be ready for it. 네, 주인님. 각오하고 있답니다. 
What's so funny? Why do you keep laughing at that, like that? It's creeping me out. <laughs> Lucy quietly rests her cheek against my shoulder. The sensation of her soft skin causes me to flinch. She feels very much different compared to this morning. It feels as if I'm carrying a real person on my back instead of a robot. I start to wonder what could be causing this difference in perception. Was it just a placebo effect? Or had something really changed since this morning? If there's something really did change, was it me? Or the robot? I continued to ponder over the question on the way home. I never managed to come up with an answer. And we'll leave it there for this time. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please press that like button and please subscribe. But until then, I'll see you all later.